Hi, everyone, and thanks for checking in on this Monday, your first full day of summer 2015. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson, and as we take a look at the national coast-to-coast -coast forecast, on our first full week of summer, we're calling, about, or calling for some strong and severe storms today and over the next few days, mainly in the northern tier of the nation, as the uh, summer heat continues in the southern two-thirds of the nation, and especially in the southwest. And oftentimes, in the uh, dead of summer, at least the middle part of the summer, you get a lot of thunderstorm activity in the northern periphery, uh, that uh, big dome of hot air that kind of sets up in the central U.S. So for today, we're going to we be watching a vigorous area of low pressure moving into the upper Mississippi Valley. It does appear that it uh, will kick out some thunderstorm activity into the afternoon and evening hours after a morning line of thunderstorms that produced 82 mile an hour wind gusts in uh, Sioux Falls there. But again, maybe some tornadoes into the afternoon, large hail, and again, some damaging winds. And then that area of low pressure swinging a little farther east on Tuesday to encompass parts of the northeast and the Ohio Valley. And then another impulse of energy working into the high plains as we get into uh, Tuesday afternoon. Then by Wednesday, it'll be setting up shop across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley with, again, some heavy rainfall and maybe some damaging winds. There's that line of thunderstorms this morning that produced some very strong wind in uh, portions of South Dakota and also to Minnesota. And then there's that secondary line that could develop this afternoon and evening, maybe some isolated tornadoes. And then by uh, Tuesday afternoon from the northeast into the Ohio Valley, this is going to be the line that may produce some damaging winds with another cluster of storms developing on a Wednesday afternoon as you get into uh, portions of the Midwest. Look at that pocket of heavy rain, maybe upwards of two to four inches or more. And then uh, still very dry in the western U.S. as the heat continues out there. Uh, again, this is going to be with us through much of the next several days. 109 today in Phoenix, 91 in Denver. It'll be 90 in Chicago with heat continuing in New York and D.C. and in the south central U.S.